Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prepper with a, a video uh, not related to radio but uh, just as important to communications when it comes to prepping and that's power. Uh, this video is a real short video, I intended it to be longer but I'll explain why. Uh, it's about power inverters, taking a 12 volts DC typically from a car battery that could be charged by wind or solar and then taking that 12 volts DC and converting it to 120 volts AC to run typical home appliances. My original objectives of this video, if you're looking at this slide here, is a, a solar project I'm about to work on. I got some of the parts, I'm still missing a few things. I bought a 30 watt solar panel, two Optima deep cycle uh, marine grade batteries, and then it came to picking my inverter to power my communications equipment. And I did a little bit of research on this and discovered that there's two types of inverters out there. There's uh, inverters that have modified sine wave outputs and pure or true sine wave outputs. And when I read into this a little bit more, I discovered that less expensive inverters and smaller inverters that you buy uh, have what they call modified sine waves. And if you look at this chart I have here, and you'll see the line in blue, it's creating a, a staircase type wave. Uh, and this is typical of an inverter that doesn't have all the filtering and regulation components. Uh, so the power it's putting out, while it's 120 volts AC, meaning it's alternating from positive to negative, it's not a smooth flowing sine wave like the line in red, which is what many appliances today and specifically motors and chargers and computers are looking for because this is what the power company is giving you. So pure sine wave or true sine wave inverters are more expensive but they're providing the AC voltage that this more technical advanced equipment is expecting to receive. Uh, light bulbs and things of that nature work fine with a modified sine wave inverter but Expensive electronics equipment, computers, uh, clocks, motors, other types of uh, sensitive electronics devices more and more are looking for a pure sine wave of 120 volts AC to run them. And I planned to go into this big in-depth video on this and while I was doing my research I found an excellent article on Zantrek Power's website. So I'm just going to keep this video short and recommend when time permits that if you're thinking about getting an inverter uh, for your communications preps that you read this one page article. Uh, it, it, it summarizes everything I had anticipated uh, doing the video about in far less time than I could actually have done it. So rather than going in, into in depth why this article explains the differences between modified and pure sine wave inverters, I'm just going to give you the link here and put a link down below so you can go read this article. Uh, it's a must read, especially for preppers who are considering or have invested significant amount of money in communications equipment and other electronics devices as part of their preps. If you're going to use inverters to power that equipment, you may want to consider looking at purchasing a pure sine wave inverter rather than a, a cheaper modified sine wave and the packaging should be labeled. But again, I'm going to keep this short and just recommend that when time permits you go look at this article. And as always, thank you for uh, watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been, been the comms prepper.